Sheldon, obviously not the outcome you want. How do you take what happened in today's game and move forward into the final five games? Well, we just got to take the lesson. I mean, that's you know, that's a that's a real hockey team. It's been as good a team as there is in the league here in the second half of the season, and they showed it today. Um, they're ready to play. They played fast and hard and competitive, and, and uh, we uh, we weren't ready for that. We weren't prepared for that. Our guys didn't seem willing to compete within that uh, type of an environment. So we made some mistakes early and didn't get saves that ended up in our net, and it's a tough road back from there. Were there any positives that you saw today that you can take and move forward with? Uh, I thought the play of uh, Casco Sewell was outstanding coming in in tough circumstances. Um, he looked really confident and good in the net, and he gave us a chance to continue to play and find our way back. Unfortunately, uh, on the offense uh, side of it, we weren't able to do anything with it, but uh, certainly Kaz looked great and carried forward uh, his play from Laval the other day. He looked shut out and looked very good in that game as well. So. His play, I thought, was a real positive, as was the play of Mason Marchman. It was nice to see him come back here, and I thought he had good legs today. He was one of our guys I thought was really pushing um, and was competitive, and he looked comfortable in, in, the, in the environment out there. Um, so those would be the, the two positives I'd take away from it. And the final five regular season games are all against North Division uh, opponents. How important is it to go into these and play like it's playoffs? Well, it's, that's just that's it. That's the message that we talked to our team about after. I mean, it's game 71. We're a team that still has not uh, secured itself a playoff position. And the way we played today, we look like a team that doesn't want anything to do with the playoffs. So um, that's not the attitude that we want to have, and that's not um, the way we want our, our effort to be reflecting. So we've got to make a decision here that this is important and we've got to find a way to play a lot better. I mean, we went out to Utica last week in, in one hockey game, but uh, we, we were all played for most of the game. So um, you know, it's it's been uh, uh, frustrating that we haven't been able to put together consecutive games and haven't really been able to, to find our game, but uh, we're going to have to make that decision here on, on this bus trip on just how important these games are. Coach. First period, about nine shots on goal, second five. That decrease in production, what do you think that was attributed to? Well, I thought Hershey played outstanding. I mean, they were very fast, very competitive. They didn't give you a lot of time or space to make plays. And you know, we weren't very sharp today offensively. So when the window to make a play was there, we weren't able to execute on it. Uh, but the game, frankly, at five on five wasn't entirely different than when we played them down in Hershey. Uh, we won that game on the back of strong special teams play. And, but at five on five, we didn't have anything happening. So uh, it was very similar. It's what we've come to expect. And I guess it's what the whole league has come to ex expect from a team that has not lost very much uh, in the last few months. Um, so it was a good, uh, good lesson for our team and hopefully a good wake-up call.